Good morning, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to the end of Jelly Postcard Play. Oh my glory, this has been one heck of a month. Getting a video ready to go out every single day has been a challenge. And I will tell you, my husband is very glad that it's over with because he said, you keep making videos. I said, yes, I do. I'll take a whole day and I'll make two or three videos. And then it, it takes as much time to upload and edit and get them ready to go. Sometimes more time to do that than it does to actually do the filming. But it has been absolutely I've I've enjoyed every moment of it. This has pushed my creativity. It's helped me to think differently. I have watched so many other people doing these. Um, I hope, Carrie, that you do run this again next year, year, even if you do it with a different variation or some other way. This has been one heck of a challenge, and I have had a really good time with it. Sorry, just popping in here to say a couple of things that I forgot to mention in making the video. First of all, if you would like to see all of the videos that went into making the postcards, if you've missed any, you can go to my channel, just click on my name in the description box below. It will take you directly to my channel and you will see a heading called playlists and it will... If you click on that, it will show you all of the videos that have been involved in making the Jelly Postcard Play happen. And I just so be forewarned, there are four hours, 13 minutes, and 45 seconds worth of videos. I add, Yes, I added them all up because I was curious as to how many it actually, how much time I actually spent on this. So four hours, 13 minutes, and 45 seconds. All right, back to the video with it. So this is Jelly Postcard Play 2024. I'm going to go real quick through what I did and um, I'm going to put them in here and then at the end of my video, once we get this all put together, I will show you what we're doing with this. I will tell you what's going on. So there was day one and I colored in the butterfly. If you watched my day one, I've added some color to the butterfly. I've add, I have changed up a couple of these because of, you know, you look at them later and go, ooh, I should have done my two-piece suit with my butterflies and their two-piece suits. That was day two. My day three, I really like this little flower. Very... Um, India type Indian. Fourth of July. We went a little patriotic with that one. And that was my modified flag with a butterfly on it. I saw the figure five in gold. My tribute to both William Carlos Williams and Charles DeMuth. Six was, eh, meh, it's practical. It's a very practical card. I enjoyed this one and taking a print that did not work well and doing something a little different with it. This one I have got into my fall colors on day eight. And day nine also kind of into my fall colors. So these are so far still all my butterflies. Um, some pinks here. What's I, I know I did not plan it so that pink would end up on the pink ribbon, but I'm glad that it did. Now this one I did change up. This was day 11. It was my Christmas in July, and it really needed something in the middle. I didn't know what. So I added in a hand-drawn Christmas tree, you know, like you do when you're a kid. And then I added just some of those little gemstones to make ornaments. So that one is a little bit more 3D than it was before. I liked this one. I really, this was way out of my comfort zone. This one was way out of my style normally. And it was fun to do something very, very different. This one's more in my style. And I really enjoyed doing that one as well. I like that rose. That's a really pretty rose. And that begins my flower. Actually, these two begin my flowers. These are the flowers. This is the flower section now. 
Now this one I also added a lot to. Um, I decided it needed something a little bit more. So I added in um, a stamped flower. You may recall in my preparation videos, I had done a bunch of these and then I didn't use most of them. So I thought, well, let's put one of those in there and then I colored it in just with a little bit of marker. This was my day 15 collage on a piece of jelly print. This was my, I really liked how that one came out. This is my uh, jelly print of a fern. And then I used the piece that came off of that over here on the edge of this one. We channeled the Lord of the Rings, Pippin, Finding Mushrooms. Oops, I'm going to put this one up. I did put the bands in different places because otherwise it was going to get very thick in the middle. This was also sort of a Christmassy one. Um, it came out okay. I think it's probably not among my favorites. Sorry, they couldn't all be golden, I guess. And this again was a print, uh, a pull-off from having done some leaves, and you, there's no video on this one because I forgot to turn my camera on, but there is a picture. This one was a lot of fun for 21, and I knew that I was going to do that with the cards. Blackjack. And then we are moving into our houses. And there, and again, I did not pick colors to match the bands. The bands just kind of matched up. But there's a house, and here's, again, a little bit more out of my comfort zone, more of an abstract type of houses. A man's home is his castle, or the queen's castle. And our Victorian lady just peeking in to see what's going on as she's walking past the house. Our kitty cat by the door. Again, you would think I picked the band to go with the card. A little bit of map and then just a little bit of my jelly print as a heart. My tribute to school. I have was a school teacher for a number of years. Almost 40 of them, 39 of them. So we have to have a schoolhouse. We have to have a birdhouse because I have birds that sing to me all the time out here. Um, day 30, again, a little bit more abstract, a little bit off of my comfort zone. Not, again, not one of my favorites. And then home. A picture of my home. Home sweet home. So there we go. Jelly Postcard Play 2024, all together in one spot. What am I going to do with them? Well, it's simple. I'm going to give it away. In order to give it away, though, I'm going to do a random drawing. In, and in order to be entered, you have to comment on this video. That's it. Leave a comment down below. And I will put your name in a hat and I'm going to leave the comment section open for a week. I figured that'll give everybody a chance to get caught up and watch their videos um, and, and leave a comment below. So if you leave a comment on this video alone, this is only the comments on this video will count. And I will pick on August 7th. August 7th, 2024, I will pick a name and send you the Jelly Postcard Play 2024 volume journal. I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but there we go. I'm going to go ahead and give it away. After much thought, I've decided it belongs to somebody else. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you have hit the subscribe button. If you hit the like button, then YouTube knows that you like what's going on. And click the bell if you want a notification as to when the next video is coming out. 
In the meantime, leave a comment below. And this is Cindy signing off.